So we're looking at some of the products for the um, Epilogue Zing, either the 16 laser or the 24 laser. Um, it'll cut up to 3 8 inches in wood or acrylic. And so we're looking at here some of the products. This is a strict cut. This is a textured surface for model building. If you can see that there. Here's another textured surface. And this is a cut with um, some very finely done holes. And here's one that's done in paper. Very thin paper at that. So, okay. We're talking about um, the uh, venting requirements for the uh, zinc. So here is the thing. Um, if you are operating this inside a room, you want to make sure that you um, get one of these, a very simple uh, fan attachment because it doesn't push out the, um, the um, products in the air. It, will, it has to be pulled out and it's a small, it's a hundred dollar or something attachment. And then you pull it out and vent it to the outside. You do not want to vent to the inside. If you vent to the inside, you're going to need to have a filtration unit that's built for it. And that would be like another $2,500. And um, this is, again, wood acrylic. Um, you can cut all the way through to 3 eighths of an inch. And you can also um, design something to be etched on it. And... Um, the difference between the two sizes, between the, there are two sizes again, the 16 and the 24, and the difference between the two sizes is the, um, um, the fact that the height in the uh, 24 inch one allows a rotary attachment that you can use to um, work with cylindrical objects. And, um, and this, this smaller one does not uh, permit the rotary attachment but it is a nice size um, and very cool and we're going to try out doing something on this one. Oh, right for the um, for this uh, if you're going to do cutting you need to get one of these honeycomb trays um, if you're cutting all the way through your cut item has to be on the honeycomb and it helps to dissipate something with the laser and this one actually I can smell it's very strong it's been recently used but we're gonna try out doing something in a bit I get to try it out so we'll do corral draw and I am not familiar my husband is with so corral I'll help you okay. one is three and a half inches by two so it's business okay. card size and this is anodized aluminum anodized aluminum oh okay but we wouldn't be able to do this on the thing no you would be able to we would mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. everything yeah all of the materials that you see over there you can do on the zinc you just can't do something cylindrical on oh. the smallest unit oh the um so the the ceramic tiles too mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. okay so what do I do all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the P size up here to three and a half by two. So you're going to take them out. So we're all text, um, and it's all of the many things that we're involved with, at least some of them. Oh. File print or control P. It's a straight print. So print, mm -hmm. and then we get to select it. All right, we're, um, we're going to actually choose a different, we're going to click on the helix, 50 watt. 50 engraver. Mm -hmm. We're going to go into the properties of the driver mm -hmm. and this is where we set our speeds and powers for the different materials uh -huh. whether we're going to engrave or cut. Today uh -huh. we're just going to strictly engrave on this material right? and we can choose a configuration from this advanced tab mm -hmm. and right now it says anodized aluminum. Mm -hmm. If you hit the load button and go back into general Okay. It's going to list the speed and power that's recommended for the laser. Great. Another option we have here is a feature called autofocus, and we'll choose that. And the table will actually come up 
and measure the distance between the product and the table, setting the correct focal distance. Mm. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come over and actually turn the laser on itself. Okay, so and a aluminum. power switch on the left side there. We're going to turn that on. The top one, okay. Mm -hmm. And when the system boots up, uh -huh. it holds itself in the upper left-hand corner, setting mm -hmm. that as the start right. position. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's where you're going to place your product now what's, in the corner. Do we move that? This is your manual focus gauge, and we have an option of using autofocus or manual focus, and we chose the autofocus. Okay. So, so I just stick it in the corner? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And that's our laser. The lid needs to be closed for safety reasons. So that's actually won't do it unless the lid is closed? Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Uh huh. And then you'll come over and you'll tell it OK. Okay. How exciting. And you'll do the final print. And print. Yay. OK, let's see it then. So the job's now been sent to it. All okay. you need to do is hit the green button, the oh. go button, and okay. it's ready to go. Nice. Very exciting. It makes such a difference when you do it yourself, you know? Simple act. selection. Uh-huh. I'm going to turn off the autofocus and we're just going to reprint just that line again. And I'll show you here in just a second. Okay. On the same piece. Yeah. Okay, so if you think you're up there okay, you're going to see a second job. And let's hit go. We turned off the autofocus. So it came out a lot cleaner. Yeah. What happened is, initially the laser didn't kick on when we first did it. Uh, uh, this machine had been sitting until how cold it is. So it's kind of like, yeah, it hadn't warmed up yet. So anyways, it's, it's fine from here on out. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll do cool. Oh, exciting! I want to do that. That's anodized aluminum, and it'll totally work with the zinc. Yeah. All of these materials can work with the zinc for etching, but for cutting, it's limited to the other stuff. This is acrylic, this can be um, ceramic tile, this can be done with the thing. I'm excited! Oh, these are shelves. Oh, wow. This, if you've got the rotary attachment, which um, requires the 24-inch uh, thing, you want to use these. And uh, if you've got the rotary attachment, you can use those. The 24-inch thing comes prepped with the rotary attachment, but um, for the rotary attachment, but you can buy the attachment later and it's a thousand dollars more. 
and that's what it looks like but uh, pretty nice pretty pretty nice how exciting I feel almost empowered almost <laughs> pick a different material setting okay and these all come pre um Preloaded. Preloaded. Oh, actually, I was going to do here. File, print, and. Oh, go back into properties. Properties. Advanced tab. Oh, we're advanced. There should be one that's called, I think, painted brass. Painted brass roster. Okay, we're going to load okay. that. Okay. Go back to the general tab and it will show you. Now, this is the same thickness, so we don't have to worry about hitting the autofocus. Let me make sure I have that. Okay. Same thickness, okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to worry you, about you it. You can do it if you want to, but it's not necessary. Okay. And because it's warmed up, then that top part will come out automatically. Exactly. Okay. And then. That's it? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And let's just do current documents where everything goes. Okay. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Because we had selected just the one. Okay. Great. Great. Painted brass. So that's... So we're going to do the black side up. The black and, side and, up. And it's going to uh -huh. remove that, showing a real polished kind of brass Oh, uh, okay. Brass. Fun. Okay. So we set it in place. And we hit go uh -huh. because our print is cute. It's great because I'm really not smelling anything. Good ventilation. Can we do something using the uh, the screen and um, to do a cut? Yeah, I'd like to see how that works. Thank you. Okay, could I do that? Okay, sure. great. 